hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i am back with a super exciting video it's a video that i do on a yearly basis i think i've been doing this video since 2018 or 17. so i am here to talk about my 2020 best beauty discovery i know this video is probably going to be super long because i have so many things here as I am looking around because 2020 was a year of beauty and skincare for me because this year has been the year where I had so much more free time to actually take care of my skin and um, really kind of like explore and try out new products. You would think it's the year that I didn't wear a lot of makeup. I think it's the year that I've worn quiet a bit of makeup actually. So I'm not going to really repeat myself. So whatever that I mentioned last year, I'm probably not going to be mentioning them now because it's all about the new discoveries. I've already done a video on my Holy Grail beauty products. So if you are looking for kind of like my top products that I use on a daily daily basis then I will link that below or somewhere around the screen where you can click and go watch that video but this video is all about all the products that I've discovered this year and that I've been enjoying quite a lot this year I think I'm probably going to be mentioning just a couple of the ones that I did last year but pretty much everything else is uh, I would say 98% it's just all new products I discovered this year so yeah why don't we go ahead and get started um it's just a couple of days after Christmas I think today's the 27th it's Sunday the 27th as you can see I've already taken down my tree because I was kind of like I am over the holidays I don't think this will be my last video for this year if it is then happy new year I hope you all had a wonderful wonderful Christmas I did it was really really lovely so I hope you did as well so let's go ahead and get this video let's start with makeup so the number one product I would say that I've discovered this year it's um three eyeshadow palettes and the first one of course it's my favorite one ever is the Charlotte Tilbury the Bella Sophia palette this was gifted to me by their team and this was probably one of the best gifts that I've ever received since I've been using this palette I cannot tell you how many compliments I get and I cannot tell you how sexy this eyeshadow palette makes my eyes feel it's like the most beautiful thing I think it complements brown eyes so so beautifully the problem that I found with most eyeshadow palette in the past they're a little bit too strong and then they end up looking a little bit like anything I love gold but for some reason I cannot put gold on top of my eyes this is probably not probably this is the best eyeshadow palette that I've ever found it just makes my eyes feel so sexy as I said before um it just complements brown eyes so beautifully let me get a close-up so it's the Bella Sophia palette this is what it looks like focus and this is the color that I use I mean as you can see I'm gonna need a replacement quite soon this is the one that I use the most and then I use a little bit of that in my crease this one I don't use at all and then I use this one to highlight under my brow bone and the tear duct area but yes this is the most beautiful eyeshadow palette that I've ever received I cannot tell you how many compliments I get from men on, on how beautiful my eyes are and not to say my eyes are not beautiful but honestly since I've been using this eyeshadow palette like my makeup has transformed I am a lot more confident about wearing eyeshadows now I freaking love it another eyeshadow palette that I discovered this year I bought this eyeshadow palette actually last year or like yeah over a year ago um I went to an event with Danielle and then I bought this like on a whim I just saw the colors I was like this looks so beautiful and then it's called wild earth and now come to think of it the colors kind of look a little bit similar to that eyeshadow palette from Charlotte Tilbury as you can see it's broken so I have to kind of like be careful this was like a limited edition so this is not available anymore sadly I hope Dior brings this one back because this was one of the most beautiful eyeshadow palette that I was wearing over the summer and every time I wore this eyeshadow palette I used to get so many compliments from you guys this eyeshadow palette I think it's really really pretty especially for during the day I really love the Bella Sophia it's for the day too but the Bella Sophia I would say it's kind of like more like a nighttime kind of like sexy eyeshadow palette because it's like borderline smoky i mean even the shadow that i wear it's a smoky one that i put all over my lids so it's borderline kind of like a little bit smoky so it's more suitable for nighttime i would say although i just wear it during the day because i don't care um it's that beautiful but yeah this is the eyeshadow palette and this is the one let me show you the color that i use the most the colors that i use the most are the three ones the two on the bottom over here i usually just like kind of like mix them together with my brush 
and then a little bit of this one as well it's just so so beautiful and then i will use the white one again to highlight the tear duct of my eyes and so on again this is one of the most beautiful eyeshadow palette it's called wild earth sienna 696 it's so so beautiful if you can find it i don't know how but if you can find it definitely get it especially if you have brown eyes like myself i think it will suit you another eyeshadow palette that i was obsessed with before i discovered the dior this is probably the first one that i discovered at the beginning of the year every time i would wear it, actually yeah i this is the eyeshadow palette that i was wearing all over miami and i love my makeup so so much with this eyeshadow palette it's like oh the most beautiful thing ever. So I use this color. This one is called Fur Babies. I love it. And then Philippines. This was a collaboration from Pixie with Hard Defensor. Um, this palette is called Double Tap. Really, really love my makeup. I was getting so many compliments when I was wearing my makeup. Especially when I mix it with that um, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, lipstick what was that lipstick name ashton th that's actually one of my best beauty discoveries which i am looking for that i cannot find so that eyeshadow palette with ashton from anastasia beverly hills goes so well together ashton is oh my god it's like the nude the peachy nude that i did not know i needed it's just so so beautiful okay now we're done with the eyes and i guess let's move on to mascara it's so funny i was just talking i think a month ago about how i needed a new mascara in my life and i happened to try this one bad gal by benefit oh my god my lashes have never looked better this is not even doing it justice but when i don't know if it's something about the brush about this mascara like the wand and the brush it's so so tiny but it makes sense though the one is very similar to the my other favorite um mascara which is the one from tarte that i used that i've been wearing for the past five years and i told you guys i was on the hunt for a new mascara this one oh my goodness it's like one of the best mascaras out there like if you want volume 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 if you want to be a bad gal definitely check this one out and the other one that i've been dying to try because it's iconic it's the dior show iconic over curl oh my god this mascara is amazing so i kind of like swap between bad gal it depends on how i'm feeling i really really love this i love the one as you can see it's the over curl it's like really really cool and this i find that um it works really really well on the bottom lash it's just so so nice so if you're in the market for mascaras definitely try um these out these are like amazing amazing like highly highly recommend them so now let's move on to lip when it comes to lip i'm just obsessed with everything from the lip bar right now hot mama is like my favorite wear at the moment which i am not wearing because today i wanted to be fresh face and just wear nude so which is why we're here and then also i do find that i like myself in nudes a lot better and then when it comes to like a fall color savage has been my favorite color again i discovered this to my cousin maria on here so follow her subscribe to her channel if you're not following her and when it comes to nude lip the brand that i really really love it's code it beauty obviously ashton by anastasia beverly hills is not my number one because it's matte it stays on all freaking day like it's so so perfect but if you want something glossy their lip glaze from code it beauty is amazing this one is called spy glass um but yeah this is what the code it beauty looks like and i really really love their packaging it feels very luxurious and really really cool so and when i want a little bit of color this is my favorite color it's pisco i think it's because it reminds me of one of my favorite cocktail the pisco sour i really really love this color it's kind of like a mauvey panky nude it's so so pretty so when i'm in need of a panky nude i go for that one and when i want just like kind of like a natural glossy lip i would just line my lips with a natural lip liner and then i would put on a spyglass and another kind of like almost lippy or natural lip that i love it's from it's the lip glow all from dior this color is rosewood 012 it's so so beautiful this is the other one that i love love to wear in most of my um 
natural lip photos you can count it it's probably that one that's on my lip it's like the most beautiful kind of like rosy color like as you can see from the tube as you can see here it's like so so beautiful and it smells incredible i love putting this on my lip it's just like it's very hydrating so i really 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 love that and when it comes to a lip balm this is the same brand that i've been using for the last 10 years but i've always used their other flavor which is not flavor i don't know i don't i, I can, the word cannot come to me right now but i always use their regular one but this year i discovered two new ones that i'm obsessed with especially for this one this is my favorite one it's the eucalyptus it's the smith's rosebud salve and this one is the menthol and eucalyptus this one is oh my god so hydrating and i just got it as you can see i've used so much from this tube this and the other flavor that i really really love i don't know why i keep saying flavor it's not a drink but you know what i mean um it's the strawberry one the strawberry one smells incredible i love this especially i like to I like to wear this one. I keep this one by my bedside table. I keep one here too because when Abby comes over, she likes to use it. But I have another one by my bedside table because, again, like if you just got out of the shower and then, you know, you're going to bed with your significant other, if you pop that on your lips, he, lips he's gonna wanna kiss you all night. Like it just smells so incredible. I really, really love that. So now let's move on to foundation. For foundation, one that i discovered i think i discovered this last year it's the chanel ultra lit hand i always get so many compliments on this foundation whenever i wear it i i do find that yeah when i used to wear this i think this is a foundation that matches me the best honestly my shade is bd 101 it's so so beautiful works really well for me this is the ultra lit tint that's the foundation that i was wearing all the beginning of um actually all the end of last year to the beginning of this year until um, so the foundation that I recently discovered because I was looking for a foundation that when I wear it It didn't transfer too much under my mask, which is a problem that I was having It's like the perfect foundation for me like it stays on all day. It's amazing But I do find sometimes that it kind of like transfer a little bit more. This is a soft matte. My shade is Caracas and I medium deep 3.3. I really love this foundation. It really doesn't transfer much. It stays on all day. So if you are looking for a foundation that really doesn't transfer much, I I would say try the NARS um, soft matte foundation. It's amazing. So yeah, I highly highly recommend that one. That one of my best beauty discovery this year. But a holy grail for me. What I do is I mix this foundation with all my other foundations so this is kind of like a holy grail which is worth mentioning here i've discovered this i think like four years ago but it's still on the top of my list it's the giorgio armani luminous silk foundation my shade is 11 on this which is a little bit too dark for me i can wear this in the summertime though when i have a 10 which is why i kind of mix it with all my other foundation i just find that it adds a really nice warmth to my face so i really really love that yeah, um, so right now I'm using Chocolate Brown by Sephora. I really, really love that little pencil. It's, it's, it's so, so pretty. It's really, really nice. It glides on really, really well and nicely. I did go back to the MAC Deep Dark Brunette um, Brow Gel, but I do find the brow gel is just too harsh. It was too harsh. So, especially myself i have a heavy hand i had to kind of like stop using this because i would look back at my eyebrows i was like oh my god so strong although i love it i love the strong look especially in person it look amazing but sometimes back on camera it looks ridiculous so and i've kind of like discovered this one this year i'm really really obsessed it's a 24-hour brow setter by benefit when it comes to brow stuff benefit is really the top of the game i really really love this one it sets your eyebrows in place this doesn't really have a color so once you're done doing your eyebrows you kind of like brush it off and they kind of like stay on all day i had been looking for like the perfect highlighter something that wasn't like gold and straight in your face something that was very subtle and i really found it in this one it's the laura mercier indiscretion face illuminator and it's so beautiful it's the one that i use to um highlight the tip of my nose and also my cupid's bow over here and as you can see the glow what i love about this it's like so soft i've always preferred highlighters on the rose gold side of things 
and as you can see over here this is so so freaking gorgeous and then a powder that i've discovered this year Laura mercy came out with their honey powder i love their translucent powder but the white one i felt that was a little bit too much for me it's like when they came out with the honey i think it's like for people like my complexion it's like it's so perfect it's like oh my goodness it's so fine it's so beautiful what i love about this i can actually wear it all over my face as a powder as well so i really really love that so if you have not tried the laura mercier honey um setting powder highly recommend you do because it's amazing so two products that i've probably mentioned before that i will be mentioning here again is my favorite concealer that i've been using for the past two years is the chanel look corrector my shade is 91 caramel i love this like i think it's I'm not it's not better than the NARS I think they're very equal but I prefer the Chanel ones a lot better than the NARS this one I feel the color matches me a lot better I think that's why I really love the consistency as well and of course for powder for all over the face I love the Chanel Le Beige. I've been using this for the past three years my shade is N40 I am kind of like obsessed with this powder as you can see I've hit pin so I had to replace it I just ordered two new ones a new powder and a new concealer so um i have the backup and replacement right now and a thing that changed my makeup this year was i've been using the beauty blenders to apply my makeup because it was giving you more natural finish but turns out i feel like the beauty blender was eating too much on my foundation so i went back to using brushes again to apply my foundation until i tried the oval 7 by artiste oh my god this is the most amazing brush for, to do your foundation and what I love about it is like universal you can literally use it for anything I use this for both my foundation and concealer it's amazing I know it's a little bit pricey but I think it's worth like every penny like it would save you money because it doesn't use a lot of your foundation you would actually be using a lot less product and also the amount of time this saves me so much time it used to take me so long to actually blend my foundation and do all that stuff with this it's like one two three i just dot the foundation all over my face and then i just go like this and done i think this has been it for makeup so now let's move on to skincare for skincare i guess we could do sections I am going to start first with like serums. Serums kind of like change my skin. It's a thing that I've been using and this year I've tried so many of them. Um, the number one serum I think that I discovered this year is this one from Pharmacy. It's the Honey Grail. This is part of my Holy Grail. Like OMG. Like this serum is just something else. Like it's one of the most amazing things that I've ever used. Oh my god. This serum just takes the cake like it's amazing i can't pick a favorite but i would say like if i had to like pick one of the top like this have this would be on like this would be on top like i really really love this serum and another serum that i love love it's the capture total the super potent serum this one is amazing this actually just won some awards for the best serum if you are into anti-aging skincare definitely recommend i've partnered with dior on the capture total range and i can like definitely say that i highly recommend it i can definitely say then that i've seen the biggest difference i know a lot of you have been asking me like do a skincare routine video do this do that especially on instagram if you've been here long enough you know how far my skin have come like it's it was bad for some times but i've really been investing the time and really took time to really learn about my skin and try out new things to really you know take care of it because you know our face is our passports we have to make sure that our skin is looking good yeah i did a lot of things you know i changed my diet i changed everything um because when you have bad skin it really makes you it, it really takes a toll on your self-esteem and everything else and also cleansing i did find out that i wasn't cleansing as well back in the days but now i like double triple quadruple cleanse like i remove any trace of makeup like by the time i go to bed there will be nothing left on my face so cleansing was a problem i feel like i was having where i wasn't cleansing properly so i took care of that I wash your face please like as many times as you need to um because it will save you from all those pimples and any makeup residue from your face so let's go back anti-aging anti-aging is an area that i've been focused on to really help me 
you know keep my skin really like nice and plump and this serum has made my skin so plump and radiant i really really love it again it's a super potent serum by dior from their capture total range i am really kind of like obsessed with this like i highly highly recommend this serum another serum that i really really love it's the overnight retinol oil serum from pixie i feel like every year i discover um some new products from pixie but this one has been my favorite omg it doesn't really smell like anything this is what it looks like it's amazing it's one of the my favorite serums out there i really really love that so it's the pixie retinol and another serum that i actually just discovered is the mario Badescu super peptide serum i got this this little sample from the anthropology advent calendar that i had and omg this stuff is amazing guys like oh i didn't realize mario Badescu stuff was so good i do use their drying lotion i'm currently using right now because i have two pimples that needs to go away so i kind of pop this on um at night or when i'm in the house to really help dry out any pimples that i have i'm kind of like obsessed with this this stuff, this stuff works I really love this so i'm gonna end up buying the full size for this i really like it another serum that i really really love it's the shantakai bio lifting serum this is kind of like botox in a bottle this one is a little bit pricey but i highly recommend it it's so so good this one again once i feel when i feel like i need a little bit of like you know um botox without doing the botox i just use the serum for like a week and then i feel like i get the results this stuff is amazing i really really love the serum it's one of my favorite thing out there like oh. and i really love the consistency and how it feels on the skin and a serum that i discovered from kills i've used quite a bit of this it's a midnight recovery concentrate it's a replenishing elixir of pure essential oils and distilled botanicals i love this like, i can't believe i've never used this before so let me know if you guys have tried this i feel like some of you may have tried this and another serum that i am loving right now that i just recently discovered is the espa optimal skin Pro serum just like it says it it's very nourishing i really really love it um so i've been using this for the past couple of days actually all week i've been loving this like it's so good and another one i don't know if this is a serum yeah it is a serum it's the honeymoon glow uh from pharmacy again pharmacy has been on my top skincare brand this year i've tried so much of the products and as you can see there's like almost nothing left in the box but i do have a backup so i'm very very excited about that so this is a close-up so you guys can see that and for morning when it comes to my morning skill um serums i keep it super simple you guys know i use the pixie so i thought i would show you the two new ones that i've discovered um it's a skin cuticle ce frolic this stuff is pricey but i see why it's so pricey like this stuff is amazing i don't know what they put in this <laughs> whatever they put in there is just like oh my god it's like magic magic in a bottle but this one so it feels almost like it's a little like like a medical prescription thing but it actually works like a charm so i love using this in the morning obviously because vitamin c it gives you a lot of brightening which is the one that i'm using today but another one that i love it's the pericon md it's a vitamin c ester ccc ferolic this one has 20 percent which is the highest concentration of like vitamin c um of what's in the market so if you want maximum vitamin c which i recommend you need to have vitamin c in your skincare routine if you want your skin to like change and bright and not be dull anymore you you need to include vitamin c in your skincare last year that was the thing that made the biggest difference in my skin I highly highly recommend um this one from pericon md it's really 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 amazing again the concentrate is really nice again i've used quite a few of it and of course the best face oil ever it's i think is just pure vitamin e when i was i think i was started using this by accident and then i was supposed to use this on a wound or something and then i started using it on my face and when i woke up the next day i was like what kind of magic is this like 
and then since then i've started to include vitamin e oil in my skincare routine so when i feel like my skin needs some tlc this is the stuff that i go like it's like when you go to the doctor <laughs> so this is the version of going to the doctor for me when it comes to my skin and um that's it for serum so for toner a toner that i've rediscovered this year it's actually this one by caswell massey it's the woods water i discovered this product from a magazine like almost 10 years ago and then this year, I was like, I wanted to reintroduce uh, woods water in my skincare routine, especially during the nighttime. I wanted something that was a little bit more lighter, no alcohol. It's kind of like very natural. So I was like, well, casual Massey, just go back to your woods water. And I'm so happy that I did. Yeah, the woods water is amazing. I love it so much that I actually bought like the lavender, which I put in my bath. You can use that one as a toner as well. So you can put it, and I also got the jasmine. The jasmine smells incredible. So highly recommend and this is one of the best was water if not the best out there like but this one is just incredible oh my god so now let's move on to moisturizers one of my favorite and number one is probably the rodeo sculpting gel the dragon's blood this stuff is amazing like i don't know what's in there i guess dragon's blood <laughs> it's just oh and it smells incredible and i'm like oh my god now i'm gonna have to go and buy this because i went out and i have to go buy it it's just amazing this stuff does something to you another one that i discovered is the um clay de po creme supreme volumizing and omg now i see why clay de po is the number one beauty brand in japan like wow the first time i used this moisturizer and then i woke up the next day i was like yeah now i see why this cream is so expensive because it actually does the job like it's so good like it's beautiful and it's like so buttery oh and it smells amazing it's another one that i discovered during my partnership with dior it's the year it's called the cutting edge long lasting energy it's the cream it's a firming and wrinkle correcting cream i always have a hard time finding the name but as you can see like if you had any inclination that i did like you can see how much i've used this stuff there's like barely anything left and it smells so good again if you're into anti-aging skincare definitely try this one i also have the lotion serum and another moisturizer is of course my trusty Aven. this one i use in the morning this is my holy grail i use this again every morning when i was having trouble with my under eyes and my eyes were very my skin was very sensitive because i had an allergic reaction psoriasis or something and that event was one of the only brands that I could actually use on my skin it was the only thing that did not irritate my skin and i've been hooked ever since and this is my favorite one that i use it's the hydrants light and this stuff is amazing i cannot tell you how incredible this is it's so just like i mean it's the light one it's so light so in the morning what i do is i use my i use either the pericon md um vitamin c or i use a skin cuticle which is the one that i use today and then i use this as moisturizer to just lock everything in and um this is random but another thing that i was obsessed with this year that i really really love it's the vc by rodeo it's the brightening cleansing pads these cleansing pads are like amazing i used to love them for both the morning and the night I do feel in the morning you should still cleanse your skin especially these pads as you can see there's nothing left that's how much I love this stuff there's nothing left I actually have to purchase another one of this because these pads were like the most amazing pads ever I really really love using them both like I said night and day and let's move on to sunscreen when it came to sunscreen my one of my favorite it's the Shantakai Ultra Sun Protection Sunscreen. This you shake it. It's very watery. You shake it really well. There you go. It's the Shantakai Ultra Sun Protection SPF 45. This stuff is amazing. It also works as a primer. So you just dot a few on your face and then you can just add, um, you know, your makeup and all that stuff and then protect your skin. And my other one that I really, really love, it's the Love Sun Body. It's a moisturizing mineral face sunscreen. This one is SPF 30. I really, really love it. This is actually safe for your body and the planet. Water resistant, refree, natural, and all that good stuff. So if you're on the market for something that's really, really good and good for the environment, 
I highly, highly recommend the Love Sun Body. Oh my God, it's just amazing, amazing sunscreen. I highly, highly recommend it. So when it came to face mask, two of my favorite one this year that I discovered is the Kiehl's Wear Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. I really, really love this. I can't believe that I've never used this one before. It's super light. Let me open it for you so you can see. It's just a light gray color. It's really, really good to getting into your pores. And this one, it's the then I think that's what it's called. It's T-H-A-N-N. -N, that's the brand. This is an oatmeal, oatmeal face scrubs. I don't know. There was something in there. Whenever I use this stuff, like my skin is the nicest when I use this right before I kind of like shower and wash my face. I usually do this in the morning and at night as well. I am kind of like obsessed with these two. And um, for beauty tools, when it came to beauty tools, the new face is my favorite. This is really good to like work on your lines. It comes with um, this called this is called the Fix um, device, and then it comes with a serum. This is a line smoothing. So everywhere you have line on your face, sometimes me is my forehead and also to kind of like work under my eyes i would you know like over here and under my over here used to be so my clothes fit was to be really bad and i must say since i've been using this regularly like the difference is amazing of course i've been going to i've been getting lymph um lymphatic facials from aaron i'm gonna do a video on that um uh, as well plus i'm i've been getting my facials at the glow bar but one thing that really helped with my coast feed is this little device. This stuff is amazing. So um, if like me, you do not want to get into the whole fillers and all that stuff, I would say if you're looking for a beauty tool that would help you with your eye area and your line, especially if you don't smile, if you have the resting bee face like I used to until I started smiling all the time and then kind of like they all have gone away. So if you have problem with that area, I highly recommend you try out the new fit. I'm um, the fix. It's really, really good. And for nails, when it comes to nails, one that I've been loving right now, it's Big Apple Red by OPI. It's so, so pretty. It's the color that I have on my nails currently. And my other favorite, which is the nude that I wear all year long, it's the Chanel Ballerina. This is like the most beautiful color like ever every time i've ever done my gel manicure this is kind of like the same color and then also it gives you this almost the same finish as when you get gel which is what i really really love about this nail polish this one too by opi lasts quite long i really really love it so i was going to do the candle last but i thought let me just tell you the candles that i've discovered this year you guys know I am a diptyque lover and this year has been different. Um, Jim Malone recently came out with their townhouse candle collection and I think it's like the most beautiful scented collection of candles like ever made. Oh my god. When I tell you like every candle smells amazing, like not one. You know sometimes it's always have like a hit or miss. But the entire collection from the townhouse like everything is amazing there is something in there for everyone and what i love about it also the vases are just like all very unique to the scent and they are like the most amazing and i love a good vase like especially you know i am all into like architecture and stuff like that i think this is really cool something once the candle is done you could put some tranklets in there so i could put a lot of things um in there i really really love this can go really um go well on my fireplace mantle right on top of this once i remove that snow globe over there so if there's a candle that i highly highly recommend you try out it's the townhouse collection by jim malone and another candle that i actually just discovered um a couple of days ago from from blue mercury is the lafco spa candle oh my god I burned it last night when I was in the bath and this candle is gonna make me take baths a lot more because it actually made me feel like I was at the spa which is something that's really hard to recreate especially for this year where we can't really enjoy most of the things that you know we love so we kind of have to do take matters into our own hands and actually do those things at home and um this candle is amazing so i feel like if you're looking for a candle for your bathroom and a candle for your bath time 
highly highly recommend this one this one has grapefruit lavender it's incredible this is the perfect candle to have as your spa candle and blue mercury is actually having 20 percent off um any orders of 150 or more so if you are looking for any beauty products i highly highly recommend you check out the blue mercury sale right now it's live until december 30th so it started on the 24th to the 30th so i highly highly recommend you check it out so as i was saying blue mercury is having a 20 percent off sale i think it's incredible especially for like the beauty products that we really want it's really hard finding some good deals on those products so it's really really nice when we have those sales going on so i would put a link below for you guys to check it out check it out if you are interested and again this is one of my favorite products from there it also come with the candle snuffer which i have actually this is the candle snuffer which is also from lafco it's the same brand as the candle actually let me take it out it's a wig trimmer and plus a snuffer in one which is amazing i've never seen anything like it all the other ones that i've ordered they come separately the snuffer trimmer and i really love like this is just one because it's just perfect and i also i wanted i needed one for my bedroom i have one in the kitchen i have one in the living room so i wanted an extra one for the bedroom again you guys know i like to buy stuff all around the house because i don't want to have to go back and forth with trimming so as you can see this is really cool this is a snuffer on the inside and then you just take plus you can also still pick up the the stuff with that one as well so i really really love that again check out the blue mercury cell they have a bunch of brands so they have Jim Malone, they have Deep Teak in there. So they have all your beauty favorite brands in there that you can actually, actually a lot of the stuff that I mentioned in this video, you can actually find from Blue Mercury. So if you are on the market for some beauty products, I highly, highly recommend you check out the sale. It's such a great sale to pick up all the beauty products that you want to try or that you've ran out and want to restock on. So there's that. And since we're on the bath subject, uh, my favorite bath bombs, it's the Highline Wellness um, collaboration with HB Fit is the CBD bath bombs. Oh my god, these are like my favorite. I ordered a pack of three and I used two last night because I wanted like maximum um, results. I really, really love this. This is my favorite bath bomb. It feels very clean. I don't have to worry about, you know, other stuff bad. Like this stuff feels very, very clean. I really, really enjoy this and it smells incredible. It's very fresh. It also helps me with my aches and pains. So now let's move on to body washes and face washes, like face cleansers and stuff like that and anything in between and hair. So this is going to be that section <laughs> uh, for now. So let's go with face washes. When it comes to face cleansers, one of my trusty favorites, again, Avon is probably one of my number one beauty brands out there like if i had to pick one or two brands to kind of like only use their beauty products it would be between these two it would be between avon and caudalie i think they just make i think french skincare is just the best honestly you cannot go wrong this stuff is incredible guys like incredible um i just ordered this from the website you can find this at cvs but i prefer just ordering it straight from the website this stuff is amazing it's the gel notoire um again it's really good for a blemish bone skin when i was going through that with my skin that um allergic reaction with the vitamins this was one of the products that actually that i could um wash my face with it did not irritate my skin or burn it which is why um i always have one this is probably the first step of me washing my face um, so I wash my face with this every day at night time. And then the next one that I go with is the Vino Pure. I actually just bought this and you could see how much. I don't know if you can see how much I've used from this. There you go. The Vino Pure. This stuff is amazing. Like I cannot tell you how incredible this face cleanser is. Like if you have not used it, you must try this. So this is usually the first or second step. So I kind of like rotate which one is first. It depends. If I have heavy makeup on, I go with this. If I have light makeup on, I'll go with that at night time. And these, I can use them in the morning also, but just one of them. In the morning, I only wash my face just once. But mostly what I use for morning, it's the Pericone MD. 
their vitamin c ester which is the one that matches the vitamin c serum i really love it in the morning for a bit of brightness again when you want more brightness and less dullness you, you just have to up your vitamin c game and i really really love this cleanser in the morning and the thing that seals the deal for me when it comes to face cleansers this i use mostly at night this i don't use in the morning Ooh, i'm almost done this stuff is pricey it's like 65 dollars, but it's worth every penny it's the amore pacific treatment enzyme peel i don't know what this powder does like omg when i tell you this stuff is incredible it's incredible so it's powder form you put it in your hands and then you put a little bit of water and then it activates it this is the final step for me washing my face because i don't know i just feel like everything else that i've used it just kind of like do the final step of just make sure that every trace of makeup is out of my face this is a product that i will always be repurchasing this is one of my favorite cleansers um ever again at nighttime i use about three to four cleansers to wash my face um because again i like to triple quadruple cleanse because i do not want anything left on my face and i think like all of them serves a purpose this is a product that i would discover it's the elemis pro collagen rose cleansing balm i've used other cleansing balm but honestly this one is the best one ever it's like nothing compares to this one this one feels so luxurious it's just and it, it just melts your makeup it smells incredible and oh my god like this is just like love like when you're putting this in your face it's like a romance it's like omg mm. my favorite thing at night is actually i remove my makeup with um the rose wipes from sephora and then i go with this this i especially love it to melt my um mascara and any makeup on my eyes and then i also apply it all over my face but this one feels so luxurious if you haven't tried this cleansing balm like oh my god you must try this like you must try this cleansing balm from elemis they have a few different one but the rose one is my favorite not because my name is rose but that's because i think the rose smells like very luxurious and um very soft and feminine it's really really nice i love that so now let's move on to body washes when it comes to body washes i've been seeing this brand around forever but i've never really tried it until this year and once i did it was over from there oh my god i went in and bought literally everything the stuff is amazing so it's the necessaire i don't know if you guys have seen you probably have seen if you're on instagram you've seen necessaire but i really really love the whole ethos like everything is clean for you everything is really good and then the products are formulated with vitamin a b c e omega 6 9 all the good stuff that you actually need for your skin which actually i can say that yes all the stuff are in there because every time i use these things my skin always feels really really nice i really love it um so i have the sandalwood i really love the sandalwood at night and then i also have the eucalyptus you guys know i love using eucalyptus for the morning because it wake up uh, it wakes up your body so i use this one at night and i use this one during the morning time i really love it and another product from them that i love is their um body gommage the body gommage is like it's like an exfoliator and this is the first time i've actually been exfoliating my skin literally twice a day that's this one they feel like soft i wouldn't say soft enough they feel safe enough where i can i feel that I, I can use them every day twice a day i use this one in the morning i love love this one for the morning this is the bergamot so i use either the eucalyptus or the bergamot in the morning to exfoliate my skin especially at night i sweat at night and i still like to exfoliate my skin before i use a body wash and then at night of course i use uh, cinderwood which is the duo right here so i use this one at night because it's more rootsy it's more sexy so i exfoliate first with this because especially at night which is why i love using my exfoliating gloves um with the body garment at night in the morning i don't use exfoliating gloves i just use a loofah but at night i use exfoliating gloves with this to kind of like remove all the products i wear a lot of you know lotion and body oil and all that stuff so i like to get everything i let my skin squeaky clean at night so i make sure to use exfoliating gloves on top of that i really love that 
And another body wash that I just got actually in the Christmas cracker from Jo Malone. I'm actually about to go buy the full size. Is a wood sage and sea salt. This stuff smells incredible. This is going to be my more luxurious when I'm going out on a date or it could just be for every day for every day i like the necessaire especially if i know i'm staying in the house that's what i'm gonna say so for staying in the house all the time i'm gonna use the necessaire but when it comes to kind of like if i'm going out i'm definitely going to be using the jo malone i am actually gonna go and pick this up because this stuff is incredible it's so good and then i was looking for a luxurious like hand wash for my bathroom Again, I went to Neiman Marcus. I think I picked this up. It's the Amber and Lavender. This is also a body wash, uh, but I prefer the Wood Sage as a body wash better than the Amber and Lavender. I love the scent, the scent, but I prefer to just use this strictly for um, hand wash. This stuff smells incredible, guys. Like I'm telling you, this stuff makes me want to wash my hands. I don't even have to. You know think about it like i just want to go like every time i come from outside i'm like oh yes let me wash my hands i'm so happy like even i'll just be in the house i'm like oh let me go wash my hands because this one feels it's just so luxurious and it smells incredible i really really love it now let's move on to hair when it comes to hair i used to do my installment with got to be got to be got to go because not only did an installment take so long typically i don't like to install my hair but when I'm going on vacation or, you know, if I'm spending the weekend, you know, somewhere or spending the weekend here and stuff like that, I like to have my hair installed. And um, I used to do the got to be and it's a it's a process. I think the other got to be takes about 30 minutes to install and it's just I don't have that kind of time. It just takes so long. And then when it gets wet, it turns white. I don't like the got to be at all. I love that it just gets off really easily from your hair, but I just hate that. I just hate the process. I Everything about me, it's about being effortless. I like things that doesn't require a lot of effort. So, Vanessa actually put me on until the ghost bond. The ghost bond, it takes five minutes to install your hair and you are like good to go. I really, really love it. Although it's a pain to remove it from your hair, but I absolutely love this. So this is a ghost bond glue. So again, I, every day on a daily basis, I don't install my hair. Like I can just take this off, you know, right now. But um, again, like I said, if I'm going away on vacation, you know, if I'm spending, you know, the weekend or if I'm going on a really nice date and, you know, I don't want my hair to be all over the place, I make sure I install it, you know, just to be safe. This is a ghost bun glue. This stuff is amazing. Again, it's a pain to remove. I would say don't apply this on your scalp. Try to put a scalp protector, whatever you call them. I don't. I just put it straight on my hair. But I really, really love this. Like, it's amazing. Thanks, Vanessa, for putting me on. Although it's just, like I said, it's a pain to remove. But rubbing alcohol will solve all of that. It's amazing. Um, when it comes to shampoo, I don't even know what was the shampoo of choice last year. I'm pretty sure it's like the same one. So since I've discovered Nature Lab Tokyo, this has been the shampoo that I use on my natural hair. Like this stuff is amazing. It's so clean. It's so good for you. Every time I use this, my hair is just like so happy. So yeah, it's the Nature Lab Tokyo. That's what I use. If this thing can focus. There you go. I really, really love this. They also have this kind of like scrub thing that I really love. It's um, kind of like the same concept as this. So I use a scrub first. And my favorite scrub ever is the Christophe Robin um, Cleansing Purifying Scrub with Sea Salt. This stuff is just incredible. I tell you guys, it's worth every penny. When I tell you this stuff smells good, not only it smells good, it gets a job done. So if you want to remove all the dry all like every product that you put on your hair you must try the christophe robin uh nature lab tokyo tokyo also have one that i am obsessed with as well that i use but i go back and forth when i'm washing my hair between the christophe robin and the nature lab tokyo i highly highly recommend them another product that i discovered this year is the creole essence castor oil i'm always looking for castor oil that still get the job done because the normal one the pure one which is the best one to just grow your hair your eyelashes eyebrows literally everything but it just smells so disgusting i just cannot take it and all the other ones i just feel like they're like watered down you don't get the same effect but when i walked into alta and saw creole essence again it's like haitian 
brand um so i was so so happy to find this this one is the rosemary mint this one it, it kind of like concealed the scent of the castor oil really really nicely now i am happy to kind of like um braid my hair and really get the stuff into my hair i like to just put this all over my scalp which i should just be doing every night but my bedding is very luxurious i can't be you know can't afford to be washing and i really don't like laundry so um i also got the haitian shea butter it says long hair don't care um i really really love this combination together so i this is what it looks like this is what it looks like i really really love these two together so this is what i use after i wash my hair to like braid it you know i separate it into i have four braids so i just you know pop the oil all over the hair and then i seal it with the uh, shea butter my next one another brand that i discovered this year is actually lauren lavelle um she actually reached out to me on instagram she has a salon in montauk i went to the store in montauk and then we kind of like connected there and omg like this hair does not hold curl but this hairspray does something like every time i curl this hair i spray it and then the curls last so long this is their um that's her shaping hairspray this stuff is amazing when i tell you it's incredible it's incredible and then she also have she also have the whole line she sent me both the shampoo and the conditioner which i have not tried yet but um this is a silky shine this stuff is amazing when i tell you this has been the tube that i've kind of like been using all the time again this is a lauren lavelle she has a salon in montauk or long island somewhere so if you're in the area you need to get your hair done definitely like recommend you stop by i even want to go to her to get my hair done hopefully when i move to long island she'll become my hairstylist but i really really love her line i really highly like i highly highly recommend it so that's it for hair let's move on to the last part of the video which is the perfume i know i know i hope i'm not forgetting anything and my number one one that's kind of like for every day this is like an everyday for perfume for me it's the deep teak eau dairy and omg when i tell you this stuff smells i always get so many compliments for both men and women every time i wear this like every time i wear this out like if i go to wegman to buy wine all the men are like one like they're running after me and asking me like what perfume are you wearing i really really like this one is incredible i really really love it it smells so beautiful it's like so soft but at the same time it's very sexy and kind of like almost woody but sweet at the same time i love love this so i highly highly recommend you check this one out if you're on the market for a new perfume especially if you if you can't afford or if you do not want to invest in the maison francis which is my all-time fave the baccarat rouge if you can invest in there and then you want something that's gonna get you the same result this one it's it like that's the one and when jo malone came out with this set of perfume this was inspired by the hanging gardens i don't know like his wife was missing her countryside so she built uh, so he built this like hanging gardens for her to kind of like remind her of her country um and her family and stuff so this scent came together and this was inspired by that and omg this has probably been um one of my favorite duo when it comes to perfume i love this one so much it smells so incredible uh, between the two i don't have a favorite i think they work really well together it's a really good marriage what i love i love this one in the fall winter and i love this one in the summer spring spring summer and when i tell you this perfume smells incredible oh my god i love this one so much like i was not expecting to like this at all and then i fell in love oh my god it's so soft like so perfect for the spring summer time I'm telling I, I just love perfume these days uh, because I went years where I could never find a perfume that works with my body chemistry. And then when I finally found perfume that works for me, I just get so happy to share them. So I'm very, very happy with all the wonderful perfume that I've discovered this year. Another one that I discovered this year is Ambre de Noir by Erin. Amber is one of my favorite notes or ingredient for perfume. Like vanilla is my top one anything almost anything with vanilla i can guarantee that i'm going to like because vanilla works really well with my body chemistry and amber is like my second favorite notes that works really well with my um body chemistry 
and when Aaron came with came out with Ambre de Noir, oh my god, I was hooked. This one smells very luxurious, very sexy and velvety. Mmm. Love it. It's so soft again. It's very soft. It's like very moody in a way. It's kind of like slightly dark and moody but still very light which doesn't make any sense at all um, so i really really love this so if you're looking for something new if you're already a fan of erin and you're looking for something else to add to your collection i highly recommend that and the last perfume it's a scent that i haven't worn in years and years it's the jo malone peony and blush suede again this came in my christmas cracker and i thought hmm i haven't worn this in years let me just pop it on again and see um, how I feel about it now. And OMG, guys. Like, no wonder why. I think this is the number one selling or the most popular perfume from Jumalone ever. Now I see why it's the most popular. Because it's so soft. Like, for the typical girl that loves things that are, like, sweet and light, this perfume is for you. And even myself, I'm surprised. Like, I love it. I am obsessed with this perfume. Oh my god, I cannot tell you. I'm like, I cannot believe I haven't worn this perfume so long. I think we have reached the end of this um, video, which has been my 2020 best beauty discoveries or my top beauty products for the year 2020. I would love to know some of your products this year, um, some of your top products this year. Do let me know if there's anything that I have to try. Let me know because you guys know I am a beauty and skincare addict and I am always looking for new products to try. So if there's anything you can recommend to me, do leave them in the comments below. And also I would love to hear what has been a one or two of your 2020 best beauty discovery thank you again so much for watching this really 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 long video i really really appreciate you sticking around if you watch the entire um the entire thing and even if you haven't you've skipped to the end i still appreciate your time because i know it's a lot and not of all not all of us are into skincare and beauty like that so if you're not maybe you can start coming around because i just love it so much it just i don't know it's part of my self-care i really love spending that time by myself i feel like i just get to know myself to spend 30 minutes kind of like doing my makeup and really be in conversation with myself and really allow myself to kind of like think about me and it makes me feel very nice and feminine and womanly and all that good stuff so i really 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 love the bonding that i get to do when i do my skincare or makeup so i really love to just I don't know be transformed in the morning and also you know untransformed at night um so i appreciate you taking the time guys to really watch this video again um i don't think this is my last video for the year if it is then happy new year thanks again for sticking around really really appreciate you and i will catch you in my next one bye bye